Okay, so I'm gonna hit the X and say update system software. And I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that everything's gonna work okay. Also, one thing I recommend is that you don't install software updates automatically. You should probably let them download automatically, but don't install them automatically. I think from now on, it's safe to say that I do recommend that you do the software updates for the PlayStation 4 system software manually. That'll give you a chance to back up your game saves and then you can proceed to do the software update. So let's go ahead and do it now. And here we go. I hope I don't get the dreaded cannot start the PS4 error. Here we go, my PS4 is restarting. Crossing my fingers here, guys. Okay, no signal from my PS4. Looks like the PS4 is starting up again. Okay, looks like it's performing the system software update. I'm really hoping nothing goes wrong, guys. Here we go, installing the update file. I'm gonna be on the latest update for PS4, which is 7.51. It's actually going pretty fast. I do have a solid state drive, so stuff installs pretty quick for me. All right, it's rebooting and hopefully the PS4 boots up. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. Okay, my PS4 looks like it just shut down and nothing's happening. What is going on? All right, this is not a good sign, guys. Do I press the power button? Do I risk it and press the power button, guys? All right, let's try it out. I'm gonna hit the power button, hopefully nothing goes wrong. Okay, my power button's not working. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Is my PS4 dead? Did the 7.51 update kill my PS4? No way, this can't this can't be right. Alright, here we go. Pressing the power button. Ooh, got scared there for a bit because I, I hit the power button earlier, then it turned on. No way! I got an error message. SU-30746-0. So guys, it looks like the 7.51 update bricked my PS4. No way. Okay, let's hit OK and hopefully this is just a... Okay, let's hit OK and hopefully it didn't install the update. It's just going to revert back. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm turning on my PS4 controller. Literally, my, my PS4 controller is not working. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold down, I'm gonna press the power button. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the power button. Okay, nothing's happening. Uh, wow, okay, let's see. All right, let's try this, guys. Uh, if you have your original PS4 USB cable, use that. If you don't, uh, I have a link down in the description for a USB cable that will work when uh, your system's in safe mode. So let's give this a try. I'm going to plug this into the uh, front of the PS4. Hopefully my controller will work. This is ridiculous, guys. Seriously, Sony, what's going on? Okay, I press the PS button. Looks like my controller is charging. I'm gonna press, okay, all right. Looks like it's restarting. Guys, what is going on? I I, I don't get it. First with the 7.50 update, wrecked a bunch of people's Sony's right during the pandemic. Now they released another update and I'm getting error message. Oh, now it's rebuilding database, okay. Oh, it says installed now. Really? Well, why did you give me an error message? All right, let's go take a look, guys. Okay, guys, it says installed. Even though I got an error message, let's take a look. All right. Looks like it got installed, even though I got an error message. 